I'm gonna show you a little bit of my process behind the scenes, conceptual ideas, to then editing and the final product. Yeah, so this is the color project. I create sets and props in my studio. I love so that. So I've done green, pink, yellow, blue, and orange recently. We'll dive into the edit of the green project. So I would just go in with a clone stamp, filling this in a little bit. I need to obviously get rid of that, so I would just go in with a clone stamp or generative AI. Let's see, so... Oh, there it there is! There we go. So I'm just gonna go like this. Generate. I want to show you how I actually colorize the yellow. So basically, you go into image adjustments, replace color, mm -hmm. then you eye drop the color that you want to replace. That you want to replace, okay. Then you click on the result. Yeah, it's more of that. So press OK. So I'm going to put on a layer mask and then just invert it. So Command and I, and then I'll bring the color back. Select subject, see what that does. There we go. Time saver. Yeah. So sometimes it's just easier to paint it back in. And obviously with the hair, I had to be very careful with like where I painted back in. But the other way that I would do this is go into hue and then pick up the color. Oh, that's really nice. That's really good. Yeah. yeah. We're just going to see what the generative Ooh, good call. AI will do. Candle, fire. Oh, that's cool. There we go. We'll do a bit of retouching and how I would actually retouch a portrait as well. So this is an image that I created. It's all real on my face. So this was actually the original image. Color balance. So I would just really dramatically take the color to the blue. So basically just using the shadows. And then I'd go to the background, select subject, go on to here, just pick up the paint bucket tool. I feel like I use like old school roundabout ways, but I, you know, it works <laughs> There's for no me. wrong way to yeah. do anything in Photoshop. Exactly. We yeah, about whatever this the other day, method like... works for you is the best method. Exactly. They're basically just colored in the background white in the mask. And that has changed the color of the background. I circled all of these hairs. Oh, wow. <laughs> it actually smoothed my head so well. And I was like, oh, I don't even have to Perfect. mask anything. So then I would go into filter, liquefy. Ooh, cool. And then just like smooth my head out a little bit more. Smart. So I've got actions over here as well. And I like to brighten my eyes. So I would go into my brighten eyes, which is basically just a curve layer. So I've just lifted this up here. If I paint on with the brush, just sort of bring back my eye, oh, there the we go. eye color. I would take this into Lightroom. So let's save that. I would go to develop, go to my presets. Actually, <laughs> what I like to do is put on the preset and then bring it back onto Photoshop onto the layer. Okay. And just desaturate it a little bit and then add more curves and saturation, things like that. Cool. It's looking cool. It's cool to see your process between Photoshop and Lightroom. Well, I think that's pretty much Absolutely all I've got for today. Amazing. Works. Thank you so much for joining us and yeah. sharing your creative process. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Aaron. Bye everyone.